Moxie Boyce over here was one of the top junior welterweights in the world. One of the hardest punches out there I've seen in boxing. Sergey Lipinitz, who's going to be fighting Saturday night on the card at the Barclays. You had a great 2016. You beat Levon on national TV. You beat Lenny Z all by knockouts, decisive. Do you find that you're going to continue to have to improve in order to win the championship, or do you feel comfortable with your skills right now? There are lots of room for improvement, particularly with the body McGurk, who shows him uh, new moves, new stuff, which is helping him a lot. And uh, he's the kind of person that he loves to learn, and he will be learning a lot. And uh, hopefully this year is going to be even better. And uh, hopefully we're gonna become a world champion, IBF world championship. Uh, yeah. On, uh, and this year. The rankings. Sergey's got what the number two ranking. Number one. Number one ranking. He's officially official um, uh, contender. Uh, number one. Uh, mandatory. When he, mandatory. When he beat uh, Lenny Z, he yep. became a mandatory. And the IBF champ right now. That is that. It's not Crawford, is it? It's no, it's uh, Gondo. Gondo. Oh, Gondo. Oh, and he's in the unification match against Burns. So uh, is that Burns, is right. that the path? The winner of yeah. Gondo Burns that he'd like to have? That's our plan. Exactly. Now, um, one thing that I want to ask Sergey is he's got an incredible ability to get stronger as the fight goes on. Meaning that maybe in the first couple of rounds he starts out a little slow, but as the rounds get going on, eight, nine, ten rounds, he gets stronger. This is his, this is his plan always. To start careful. So I was pressured. Uh, Yeah, they, they always plan not to rush. So uh, he he, uh, he likes to analyze and see what the opponent got a uh, few rounds. Then, uh, with the uh, help of Buddy McGurk, they will build a, strat a little strategy as the fight goes along. Didn't Sergey start off with kickboxing or uh, kickboxing. Uh, right? Now, uh, how has the transition, what skills he's learned in kickboxing, been able to translate to boxing? Uh, it wasn't hard because uh, his uh, main weapon in the kickboxing were hands. And he has a very good trainer uh, who taught him uh, boxing skills. And uh, he used his hands more than legs. And it wasn't very hard for him to transfer his skills from kickboxing to boxing. And another question. I know we're, we're looking at the IBF route for the belt. But is Bud Crawford, somebody who's the top 140-pound fighter right now, is that somebody that Sergey would like to fight one day and beat the best person in that division? Он понимает, что сейчас ты идешь по IBF, и твоя задача стать чемпионом в IBF. Но там есть Теннес Крауфер, который является самым сильным и опасным соперником. Если у тебя план подраться с ним. 
хочу справляться с самыми лучшими бойцами в моем дивизионе. И как время придет, и когда нужно будет, я с удовольствием сделаю это для него. Он хочет воевать лучше, и когда время будет right, и это придет, он будет воевать лучше. Это то, что он хочет. All right, fans. Well, again, you need to watch Sergey Lipinets, one of the young, most exciting young fighters in the game, this Saturday at Showtime. Thank you for your time.